What's up guys, Camp Out coming at you with another review. As you can see, we have New Balance on the top of the box. I'm gonna spin it this way so we know what's going on. This was a seven or six month wait for this shoe. Uh, the first of its kind, which was a pre-order, pre-sale kind of deal as far as New Balance goes with Ame Leon Dore. Uh, M1300AL, ALD is what I'm assuming. Shout out to Teddy Santis who also just took, I, I believe is the creative director role at New Balance for special projects is what I'm assuming. He's there for special projects, not just the entire brand, but who knows, it'll probably trickle down like Nike stuff does if you guys are following that kind of news. Anyway, um, 1300, this is the green colorway. I'm gonna just take this out. I did see the pink colorway, um, not mad at it. I, I think they were both fire. I just have a lot of pink shoes. So it's one of those things where it's like, uh, I don't know if I needed to spend that kind of money on a shoe I was gonna wait for this long. In retrospect, I probably should have just did both, but <laughs> let me take them out of the box. Let's do this one down. We'll keep this one up. As you can see, I really didn't even go over these shoes yet. I kind of just got them in the mail and I said, I'll wait for the weekend and shoot the review. Um, clean. It's it's nothing crazy. It's like the Jound uh, New Balance when they did the 992 or was it 993? 992? What, whatever. Um, the, the colorways are very simplistic, very clean. I think when they or Ame does a sneaker, it kind of coincides with their entire line or collection. Uh, kind of why I like it, uh, but also doesn't give it any real pizzazz, if you know what I'm talking about, like Bodega's 577, the Hypercat. It's kind of shoe that like you drop, you don't have a lot of clothing on the inline portion of your own brand, but when you drop a shoe, it has a lot of like spice and flavor. Uh, they're dropping shoes as part of collections to match their collection, so it's kind of, you know, mm, monochromatic. Anyway, Outside of that, you got uh, Ame Leon Dore on the tag, so that's a nice little branding hit. I'll bring a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about there. Very clean, uh, classic, 1300, made in USA, uh, pull tab. I don't like to go through the centers, but I do on my new balances just because the tongue has a tendency to slide when you wear them, uh, especially 1300s, uh, 996s, 574s. Anything along those models will usually slide on the tongue. Uh, 580 slides too. I don't know why, but hey, I could go down the laundry list of that, but besides that, yeah. Um, fat white flat laces, or fat white flat laces, say that three times fast, almost dropped it. Uh, no extra laces in here that I've seen. Again, I haven't, yep, nope, just the white flats in there, so super simplistic. I forgot the price point because it was like mad long ago that I ordered these, but let's get into material. So you have a, I guess a short hair suede on the toe cap, toe box, green mesh, uh, a furry nap suede, Kind of needs a haircut a little bit. Uh, reminds me of AstroTurf. Just a smidge on the paneling underneath the New Balance and logo and the heel cup wrapping all the way around. Same thing mirrored on the lateral or medial side, I should say. It almost feels like this material is the same as this. It's just somehow flatter. Like it was supposed to be as hairy as the toe cap on the rest of the shoe or the same everywhere, but maybe it was the box or where it was pressed or who knows. Uh, if you did get a pair of these and it's the same all the way across, do me a favor, let me know because I feel like I saw pictures where it was all the same. Uh, nylon again, or mesh I should say, on the ankle, toe, and again on the ankle and the, uh, the window on the eye stay here. Not Like I said, not much pizzazz to the shoe itself. I hope my coloring looks good in the video. You have a white leather heel wrap. Is that 3M? It might be 3M. It could be 3M. It looks like it might be 3M. I can't really tell. I'll be able to take a photo. Uh, it might actually be 3M though, this hit right here, which is why it looks so strong in the light. And I believe this is just a white leather underneath the silver metallic N on the medial and lateral mirrored on the same side. The only thing that's different in here is you got the Ame Leon Dore on the footbed. Uh, down there and then again on the moniker on the tongue tag like i said before that same thing in both shoes if that makes a difference to anybody it shouldn't i just think it's a nice clean shoe 1300 super comfortable uh, i did go 10.5 my usual size in all new balances which will fluctuate depending on the sock you're wearing but again i don't like my shoes to fit super big I haven't tried them on yet but like i said standard made in usa made in uk is and always should be the same exact sizing, no matter what shoe you buy from who or where. That's the one thing I will say about the consistency on sizing with New Balance UK and USA. Um, now, Asia Made is a different story. If you guys are familiar or unfamiliar with that, they will be smaller nine times out of 10. So try and get a heads up on what's going on with a shoe from uh, Made in Asia st uh, styling. But outside of that, black outsole, clean, simplistic, happy they came in, uh, kind of excited to wear them. 
I don't know if I'm going to have to wait till the fall because of the coloring on the shoe, but whatever. Uh, any questions or comments, hit me in the comment section. Thumbs up are always appreciated, and I am out of here. Peace.